Hi Scorpio, my name's Chandler. Thank you for watching this. This should resonate with you if you have a sun, moon, or rising sign in Scorpio. This is really interesting so far. Death and rebirth and king of air. Let's get started. Wow, what a what an amazing start to your month. This is pretty crazy, and I am actually not at all surprised because this is very Scorpionic energy coming through, but wow, death and rebirth right off the bat. This is a really powerful, um, potent card. What this symbolizes is a endings and closures, a coming to an end of a cycle, a new chapter being born, inherited wisdom that just changes things on a fundamental level for you guys. Um, some of you may be getting pregnant. Some of you are maybe transitioning in your job or your life somewhere, in your career. This is a definite endings and closures, something that is coming full circle, full term, and a phase of your life is ultimately coming to an end. The reason that I say this is maybe more directed towards a career endeavor is because we have the king of air. The king of air symbolizes this very um, communicative, intelligent, strong-willed, respectable character. When you get this kind of energy, you could actually begin to feel very intelligent, right? You could have a genius moment. It could be that aha moment, but even more so, it's kind of this foresight or this capacity to see things a little bit more clearly than you could before. And I say a little bit loosely because generally it means a big a bit. It means you're going to be seeing things very much more differently than you did before. The king of air has a background. He has... Um, a past of, of maybe even being a peasant or someone, a common person. Um, he was not royal born. And the way that the king of air has reached his status is by, first of all, just being very intellectual, very communicative, very quick-witted, um, and determined. Uh, but, but typically, you know, the king of air symbolizes growth, substantial growth, and this very strong retrospective of where you've been. Because ultimately, I do believe that you guys are leveling up. You guys are receiving some new information. You guys are expanding your learning. You guys might even be going back to school or um, obtaining certification, right, for a craft or for something that you do uh, career-wise, right, something that you're very good at, by the way. Um, but you could it could be a means of communication. You guys could, you know, be working one-on-one -on -one with people. You guys could be... Um, you know, even in sales, you know, it's like this could this could be anything where you work one on one with people and have to communicate certain things during the day. People are going to be looking at you like, I really respect you. Like you're you're making you're making some really groundbreaking moves, Scorp. And I'm really excited to see that because this is really you and your element. And even though the the King of Air is is more like a Libra or more like a Gemini. Um, this is fitting perfectly into you and your way and you, your individuality, your strength, your skill sets. Um, so again, it's kind of like you guys can play the game really well this month. Of course, this is your June 2018 reading. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so death and rebirth, king of air. Wow, amazing beginning to June. It's going to be something very foundational. It's going to be something very important to you. The king of air also can represent technology. So if you're in the, a very fast-paced internet business, right, this could especially be applied to you. Any other insights for uh, Scorpio this month in June? I almost said Pisces, and I've been thinking Aquarius because those cards are just so beautiful and magnanimous in their in their energy. It just kind of seems otherworldly. Scorpio is otherworldly, though. I mean, that is so your energy, so that, you know, that's expected. But 
some of you, you know, maybe leaving a situation, maybe leaving a relationship with a Libra, with a Gemini or Aquarius. You know, Aquarius is an air sign, king of air. Very outward thinking person. All right, it's time to take the mask off. We've got change coming. The death and rebirth and king of air, you know, this is beautifully coupled with the five of air, symbolizing massive change. And you've got these, these three skulls with the three eagles. And then she's just dangling feathers gently off her arm. It's kind of like after the battle takes place, right? She knows it's time. She knows it's time to express herself and to reveal that which she's been hiding. All right, some messages might be coming out this month, right? If you've been unfaithful or if a partner has been unfaithful to you, that could definitely be um, something that changes things, right? <laughs> that could mean that some of you are taking off the mask, unveiling yourself, unveiling the truth. Two of air coming out, lots of air energy. A lot of you are dealing with Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This card even more so a Gemini. Um, but very much so a Libra energy. Either that or Aquarius as well. Aquarius, Aquarius is fixed though, and I just don't feel that kind of fixed stubbornness. I kind of feel as though it's a Gemini who's playing games. That is in reverse as well. So, five representing change and maybe even seeing a clearer picture, but maybe not something you want to see, right? Maybe not the kind of situation that you're really hoping it to be. Or maybe it is. Maybe you really have wanted to leave this situation and leave the Gemini or leave the Libra or Aquarius. Um, this could also be just very dynamic aspects of yourself, unveiling something new to the world, child in reverse. This is very telling. Some of you are stagnating your growth, being with someone. And the child does carry this very innocent and pure energy. Um, oftentimes that seems foreign to a Scorpio. But I think what you guys are sensing is the need for that that element, that dynamic in your life. If you've been involved in the toxic relationships, absolutely. This is someone who's trying to come clean to you. This is someone who, this is someone who may not have actually tried to come clean, but in any case got found out or was revealed and their innocence, so to speak, was shattered. Let's see if we can uncover anything about the death and rebirth and king of air. Who are you guys dealing with and what's it all about? Why are you guys why are you guys embracing this death like I know you are? You know, there's got to be something very tempting for you to move forward to. There's got to be reason, right? Oh my gosh. The high priestess coming out, the 10 of wands, 3 of swords and 5 of wands. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't really resonate very much with this Ten of Wands, so I'm going to put it back. I think that the High Priestess, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Wands were very clearly coming out at us. The High Priestess in reverse, speaking of a loss of power, something that was just behind the veil that you couldn't see. You were maybe a little detached from your intuition. Maybe you had a feeling about this. Maybe you uncovered text messages. Maybe you uncovered emails, right? The King of Air, speaking of communication, messages, information being passed back and forth very techy. But again, the death and rebirth card symbolizing an, a, knowing, a knowing that this is happening, right? An understanding that there has an, there's an end about to come about, right? Or desiring something to end. Maybe you've been in communication with someone and there's this kind of need to let go of something different, need to let go of something else. The death and rebirth card also has a child, in it okay so some of you are shutting your old ways I'm hearing shutting like a snake some of you are shutting your old ways for new ones and that's very much 
a quality of this card here. Right, the five of air. It can be very uncomfortable for you guys um, to let down your barriers, but I see a very strong necessary um, change coming for you that absolutely 100% requires you to you know, let down your shield, put down your walls, drop your barriers for someone. And you're either willing to do this or you're not. What I see from the death or birth card and the king of air is that you might actually be very intrigued to do this. Um, you know, this person, if he's, if he or she, you know, if they are coming into your life as a dominating force, which is hard to come by for a Scorpio, you could be intimidated by them. You could, you could lack the foresight in order to see really what their true intentions are, but they have this way with you, right? The high priestess is a person who, who really shouldn't be swayed very easily. She's very strong. She's very sturdy. And she's very confident because she has this all-knowing sense about her. She's very connected. When, it, when it's in reverse, it kind of seems like just this naivety or... It's another two. So, you know, some of you could be coupling up with a Gemini. The three of swords, this is, you know, obviously heartbreak. This is you ending a relationship. Maybe, maybe you realize that you haven't been in your element and this person has been taking you away from it. Maybe you've been putting on a front. Maybe you've been trying to give a show. Maybe you're trying to win over this person's heart. With the king of air, he can be very well a, just a smooth talker, you know? <laughs> And it's kind of like, it, it, it took you off guard. And you've been out of your element because of this. Um, that's very hard for a Scorpio to deal with when they're, when they're taken off guard. They, they somehow, you know, if they're not prepared for things, they can end up coping with that energy for a while. Trying to get back where they are either in control or they feel secure. Um, but it's a feistiness. It's a disconnection a lot of the time. That's what I'm picking up with the high priestess. The three of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, swords signifies that there could be three people involved, right? If either you are suspecting a Scorpio is cheating on you, or maybe you are Scorpio who has been talking with someone. There, I don't see a lot of physical contact, right? But I see a desire to... To move forward with things. I think there's a, definitely a desire for a future with this person. Um, but the three of swords, you know, it needs to come out. Somebody needs to say something. And I feel like even though, you know, you could be very well the person who is having an affair or maybe um, involved with two people at once, you're going to be found out this month. And you're going to be forced to take off your mask. You, you might even own up to it. But but you're going to keep it a secret for as long as possible, I think. And that's okay, you know, to each his own. But the Five of Wands is saying someone might rat on you. Someone might, you know, from your group, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of drama, maybe there's a lot of small talk, pettiness. Um, you know, you guys, who you thought was on the same page as you, I feel like is not on the same page as you. And there's a lot of manipulation going on, okay, with within words within texts or e emails, something like that happening um, between a group, you know, your friends, they've got something on you, they've got evidence, somebody's going to come forward, right, to maybe ruin your spot, to take your spot, and it's in this very competitive way. So it could very well be from a female or male, you know, somebody who might be interested in the partner you have. Uh, you know, that's it's very interesting. I don't usually get uh, these kind of readings, but what started out very esoteric, it kind of seems like this is divinely orchestrated, right? This is this is something that's going on on a very deep esoteric and soul level. Maybe you have soul contracts with this person. Maybe you guys have been through lifetimes this way. It feels very deeply karmic, karmic and very karmatically root, uh, rooted. Um, the five of air, let's see if we can get clarity on that because I know you guys are wanting to know the juice of this. So, you know, the Three of Swords comes up, the Five of Wands comes up, which is then followed by the Five of Air. Wow! You guys will be so rewarded by just coming out with it. 
just, I mean, the five of air is, is not a bad card. It just means that you guys are surrendering to something and owning up to it, if that's the case. Um, you know, tr truth will be told. Truth, right? It's coming out. And with the nine of cups, it kind of symbolizes this closure, this, this cycle that's ending that is like, oh my gosh, I can finally breathe. Like, this guy has put all his heart and soul into one thing and maybe he's waited for a long time and it's just been brewing and he has been waiting to unveil it. And finally, it's like this moment of like, ta-da, you know, but it's it's not in, in necessarily that excited or surprised way. It's like, oh, finally, it's like the show, it's my work, here it is for everyone to see and it just feels so good. So if you've been waiting to come out with something, if there's been something that's burdening you heavy on your chest, I feel it. Um, you're better off coming out with it. You're better off just saying something because if you try to confide in anyone else about this, they're not going to understand and they may even backstab you. All right, so the five of air and the nine of cups, that's really interesting. Something about your intuition, right, is being blocked and you're, you're maybe confiding in other people about this. There's a lot of communication going on. The sun comes out in reverse, death card comes out in reverse, and strength card comes out in reverse. So I see some of you really needing to come out with something but choosing maybe not to, and this is telling you that's that's not really in your best interest because what the sun is is this opportunity moment that has passed in reverse. Or there's something that is that might might pass. It might escape your grasp if you miss the opportunity, and it could be very very small window, right? It could be just a simple choice that you might have to make even though the circumstances aren't necessarily, it's not crunch time, right? It's not crunch time. This is an opportunity to come forth with this information. This is an opportunity to be brave, to to be innocent in nature, to, um, you know, express yourself, to play, to have fun. Um, and for some reason, just the situation is weighing so heavy. It's like, you just, you have to come out with it. You've got to be You've got to surrender. You've got to just express yourself. You've just got to, you know, own up to it. And maybe then some new opportunities will open for you. But if you keep avoiding this, just more death, 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 death. And, you know, unfortunately, Scorpio, it's like you guys are so comfortable with this element. It's You guys could deal with it much better than other signs could. But still, it's not very comfortable, right? It's not blissful. It's not beautiful. Um, so the kind of reality you guys are living is up for question, right? It's up for review. Is this the kind of situation you see yourself being in for a long time? And I think the answer is no. I think honestly, you guys just need a little bit more perspective over the situation. If there seems to be only two choices, I feel as though, you know, you guys might need to just take the high road and pick one of those two choices. Um, you know, as much as the world is your oyster this month, I kind of feel like, you you should just grab what you can get. You know, it's like this this very uh <laughs> you need to find your strength. And your strength maybe the only way to find your strength is by coming out with it. By asserting yourself because what this waiting, hesitating, denying is doing to you is it's really eating you up. It's really taking your life force energy and it's putting you in this weird distorted perspective that you might be able to get away with this but you kind of know that you can't forever and it's just putting things off to the back burner and it seems like you guys are eventually going to have to deal with it anyways so you know even though I see some of you wanting to to wait maybe July will be a better month for you to do so it I just don't see it being in your best interest for very long just because it's draining you um you're going to feel more disconnected with yourself um You've got to be strong. You've got to be brave. Stop delaying this change because I see I see a potential for you to be very um, happy. And you know what? The sun and strength and death and um, the high priestess, all of it can be flipped over. All of it can be put back into alignment and reversed, right, from a reversal position if you just simply embrace it. But it's in reversal means that you're denying its influence, that you're not allowing this to take place. 
and therefore it's creating resistance, it's going to create contrast, it's going to create conflict, and that, that kind of thing. The child, okay, very similar reading to um, what Virgo and Taurus had with that. They had the child energy in there. Theirs were not in reverse. Um, this is the Taurin season, so, you know, if you have a lot of Taurus in your chart, you could be feeling the desire to start a family with someone, right? This, this Nine of Cups is making me feel like this new chapter in your life is going to be very balanced, um, very emotionally wealthy, supportive, understanding, um, but you need to know the reasons why, okay? Knight of, Knight of Cups and Eight of Wands comes up under child. So what this means to me is what are your motives here? And I think this is very much relating to your future because it's a progression and maybe in the end of June you're going to be really thinking about what you see in your future, the kind of family you want, or um, maybe even just trying to prove your innocence, right? You might be trying to prove your innocence if you have been unfaithful or if you've been um, talking or communicating with someone outside of the relationship and it's caused a little conflict, don't try to prove your innocence because, you know, that's just going to seem ridiculous. And what I'm seeing here is they're not going to feel you're innocent and um, they're going to try to make you even feel guilty for it, right? And it's kind of tainted the whole situation. Once it comes out, it's like you can't go back. Once it comes out, you know, I feel as though there's going to be so much that happens um, and so many emotions attached to this situation that uh, remaining innocent from it is just not the way to go. It's it's a bad look on you, <laughs> you know, or them, right? If it's if it's a if it's a uh, Scorpio that you're involved with, I mean, just just know that they may come back and try to prove themselves to you. Uh, and my advice is is to not to not to not get them to come back, to not allow them to come back into your world. Um, this energy, you know, it's got it. It's got to end. Okay, so your guides are saying it's no longer healthy for you or for them. And the reason that it's being brought up is for the healing purposes. It's so that you can heal. A child is very healing when it's in an upright position. Um, but for some reason, you're not allowing this transition to take place. And so, um, you know, therefore, the healing cannot occur this month, maybe. So as, as soon as you get this ball rolling, the sooner that you can get out of this cycle, but... The Knight of Cups continues to to explain to us or to reflect this message of needing to have integrity, needing to have a purpose, right? A, found, a, a strong reason why you're doing something. People are going to be looking at you like I don't. They don't understand, right? They just don't get it. Um, and there might be a little bit of poor planning associated with this card. You know, Knight happens to jump the gun and you know, think he's delivering the show of their lives, and then they end up wanting their money back money back in in an afterthought. So it's really misunderstood. And it's kind of emotional as well. He's sitting in a fountain, you know, there's, there's mo movement and emotion, but the movement is not going to be working for you. So that's really interesting. But the Eight of Wands, you know, it promises new opportunities, new direction, uh, faithfulness in relationship actually and um, something to look forward to movement forward movement leaving something behind uh, new horizons new beginnings and somewhat of a, 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 a taste of surrender right a taste of just bliss a taste of really needing it really needing the change so again there are some of you who could be uh, getting advice from a Leo. They could be communicating with you. You have the Sun and the Strength card underneath the Two of Air. Speaking of polar opposite ideas, maybe someone is really trying to help you by by giving you a piece of advice. And it'd do you good to listen because I feel as though it's not the advice you want to hear. It's not something you want to hear, but they're really trying to help you out. And they do have a good perspective on things. So if you can maybe heed their advice, if they tell you either to leave a situation, to own up, um, or, you know, dig a little bit further and really weigh your options, I would definitely do that. Because they seem as though they are a very balanced person. It could be a male Libra. Okay, there's a lot of male Libra in your, in your cards. Okay, someone that you may have a child with. Someone that you may have thought you'd be with for a very long time. 
things are coming up this month. The five of wands, you know, this serves a very good purpose in your life, but it's very misunderstood. Um, so whether it's a lesson that you learn from, from for a long time to come, or whether it's something that serves its purpose and you can move on with, right, with this person, if you guys can get over this together, that kind of thing. But it's ultimately your choice. How you go about this is the main key here because there's lots of options. You've got a few ways this can come up, this can be settled, but your intention and your integrity and your innocence in the matter is all what's at play. I hope that this clarifies. If you have any further questions, um, don't hesitate to look at my website. I've got a link in the description box below. I do personal readings. Um, and I wish you luck, Scorpio, in June. I feel like this has a lot of potential for you for growth. Um, hope this helps. I'll see you in July. Bye.